Let me give you guys a little run around of what's been happening here at the shop. It's a lot of work that's been going on and let me show you guys just a little bit of what we got. So in these boxes, we have four orders that got approved recently for a big job that we're doing. It's called La Vuelta. It's a lowrider show event that goes down in San Diego. From what I've heard, it's the biggest lowrider show on the West Coast. So that's happening this weekend. Uh, those four orders, one of them is a three color. The other three are four and five colors. So we need to get them done by Thursday because Friday we're leaving at, I believe, 4 a.m. in the morning. So we're taking those with us to the event. And that's a lot of work because I only have the separations for one out of the four designs and we need to get that going. Also, we have Domri MMA who dropped off two days ago, which is a good number of shirts. We have hats for Phoenix Customs and Royal Picks. Uh, also, we have t-shirts for Royal Picks. Uh, this is... This is still missing the red. I just kind of pulled out the pellon, but it's already set up. We got it ready to go. Registration marks taped off and we got it approved. So we're going to print the fronts of these and then the Phoenix Customs. They just get like a one color front. I don't think I'm going to get to the hats this week, but I want to finish the shirts for the guys. And this is kind of like the stuff that we've been doing. We had another reorder for the bomb division, which was this colorway. Um, the outline, see how this one's green? The outline here was purple. That one came out really nice and they also did a reorder of the light and the dark gray. So that was pretty dope. And I'm just filling up the board with the stuff that we're doing this week. We also did a bunch of bandanas for New Wave. That was like the jig that I created and a lot of people liked it. So I believe some bandana, like all over print bandana orders are gonna start coming in. Uh, if if so, you know, we're ready. So that's cool. Uh, we also have a lot of screens to reclaim. We've been doing a couple of samples here and there. I did that reflex sample. They loved it. So they're going to place an order for that. Uh, they still haven't picked up the sample for the foil that I did for my friend Carlos from All In. But it's still beautiful. It came out really, really nice. Very happy with that. And then we also have... A couple of vinyl cutouts that we have to do it's just a lot of work you know we also got uh, family racing families racing hope <laughs> check out this mugshot picture that was like a DTG that was like a DTG print that I did it was just like a one shirt we have this 40 piece order for uh, families racing hope that's a four color front they also want hats so work is piling up there are a couple of uh, deadlines that I have to meet by Thursday because we're leaving Friday, like I said. And, and it feels like for the past three weeks, waking up at five is not early enough. And sometimes leaving the shop at seven, it's not late enough. So uh, I might, and I'm really serious about this. I need an intern in here to at least help me uh, start learning how to reclaim. That way I don't have to worry about it. My friend Armando has been very good and very consistent with uh, coming in on either Tuesdays or Wednesdays to reclaim. And when he comes in, he just kills it. Like he does not come to play. He doesn't come to talk. He comes to reclaim, do his job and get out. So thank you, Armando, for that. Really appreciate that. But as the screens get reclaimed, they pile right back up. So we need somebody in here and then also if we can have somebody um, probably in the dark room burning screen so that I can be on the press or a somewhat experienced uh, graphic designer to be printing out film. You know, everything and anything helps at this point. Uh, I don't think I'm at the point where I can hire somebody yet, but if we can have somebody in here uh, as an intern, uh, especially with the summer coming around for the school, uh, you know, the kids are going to be off in May, so that's not too far away. And if that's the case where we can get somebody in here, that would be awesome. If not, then we'll keep going the way we are. But it's, it just gets a little tough sometimes. So <clears throat> the automatic is running beautiful. There are still a couple of details that I need to fix, but it's nothing too crazy. 
to where I can use the machine. So right now I can use at least seven out of the 10 heads, which is amazing because if that's the case and I'm using two flashes, that leaves me with only one head that's not working. So, um, and that's the one over here, number 10. We had a, you know, a bit of an issue with this one. I think it's internal, so we still need to figure that out. And that's it. So I wanted you guys to know where I'm at. Uh, there may be a day here and there where I'm not gonna vlog because I'm trying to uh, focus a thousand percent of my time into uh, the orders that are coming in, into the deadlines. I usually don't have the pressure of having orders done at a certain time because I have my two week turnaround. But I did want it to commit for this event because this weekend is gonna be a great weekend for networking. I really wanted to get those orders done for La Vuelta. So I'm gonna show you guys that um, as I move forward with that order and probably not the rest because I want them to see my work. And then when we bring it out to them, you know, I want them to expose Vega Print so that we can just, uh, I guess, make an impact uh, in California and at least so we can get out there a little bit more exposure. Uh, I'm starting to get more orders from California and Texas. Here in Arizona, it's been very consistent. So I'm very happy about all the work that's coming in and um, just very thankful. So let me end the vlog by giving you guys an update with the subscribers. We do have a, uh, a goal that we set ourselves for 3,000 by June 1st and I think we're on the right track. So let me just update that number and we're gonna call it a day. All right, let me give you guys a quick book recommendation. If you guys have not heard of it, I want you guys to take a look at How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's an excellent book. It's about, shh, let me see, it's like almost eight hours long, so you have to take your time with it. Yesterday, I did two hours of the audiobook. Today, I'm about to crank another two. And just by listening to the first two hours of the book, it was just like great for the mindset. So make sure you take a look at it. Be patient. This is a book that you have to listen to more than once. And uh, I strongly advise you to go ahead and take a look at it. I'm going to drop a link for the one that I'm specifically looking at. There's a couple of videos on YouTube and some are like misread, but this one's a great one. So just go ahead and take a look at it, follow the link and just listen away.